What's up guys? Uh, taking apart the K20 transmission today. One of the first things you got to do is obviously you got to take this stuff off. If you can't get that off, then you don't need to do any more. Shift selector. That's your shift selector right there. Take that out. And then you come over to here. This is a 14. Take that. And then... And then you got to come here and, and do these, and I'll show you what's in there here in a minute. Why well, take them out? All right, guys. So you got a little spring in here. And then in the inside of this, you got bearings. Don't lose these. This is what keeps your... I think it's, it's either first, second, then third, fourth, and then fifth in reverse, or I'm backwards. But either way... First, second, third, fourth and fifth and then reverses back here and then reverses right here that's what you don't lose these most important thing is the damn box put it all in Now we gotta take this right here out. That's your next step. Speed sensor is what that is. So once you get that out, we'll show you what to do next. Well, actually, as soon as you get this out, guys, you go strip straight to the case. And take all the case out. Then we'll show you where to go from there. Alright, now after you get all these bolts out, you got two long bolts. You got one here and one here. You can't get them mixed up. They're just there's two long ones. It's easy to remember. Who the fuck's a mechanic here? Now, time? you get this snap ring in here. What we got to do with this, I think it's these. These ones. These ones. What we got to do with these is get in here and slide that over like he's doing right there. But in order to get that to slide down past of this, one of us is going to kind of hold this open while the other one kind of pries this case open. Now, be careful when you pry this case open. You're going to have to pry on it some. We use the ears, I think, over here on it, and then back here on it. That's what we did the last time. So, see how that popped? Now, just take your time when you do it, because we're going to have to come up here, and I can't hold this camera, so we're just going to do that. You want me to hold it for you? That would be good. Yeah. All right, guys. As I held that open... What my brother did was just pushed up on the case and see how you can see how that dropped now from the last video we took. Now we're gonna pop this case off of here if we can. Grab that drill. Here you want me to fucking hold this backside for you? If you can help take it off, you might as well just take it off. Okay. Now that our bearing sat in stayed in. Stayed in this time. Now when that happens, guys, I don't have a foam mat around here, but when that does happen. You just take it, get that plastic drain out of that. This is just a cover. Oh yeah, it's a cover there, guys. Put. The... Uh, hopefully it fell out. And there, it fell out. And that, it's got some material right there on it. But we'll uh, investigate this transmission a little bit farther, and then I'll get you guys to the next step. All right, now if you guys take notice, there's a race up here on the fifth gear, right here. Now that goes flat. So when you take that off, if you happen to accidentally flip that upside down, remember that goes flat. All right, guys, and then when you get to this step, okay, now we've had these bearings actually stick on. So you have to, when that happens, it's a bitch. You just got to pop it off. You got, you'll probably, you have to actually take the bearing apart. you'll have to take the bearing apart guys and then replace it together when you're done with it. But next step would be these 410 black bolts. There are any ones like it in the box. So just take them out, put them in your box. And when that comes out, I'll show you guys how this gear comes out then. Once this is removed. And then right here is where your uh, magnet is. Which it's got some material on it, but my material when he was about that bad on mine, on my uh, newer beta transmission I just put in it. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not bad. 
Now this guy's comes up then. There we go. That just reverse comes just out like this like that. What's that? Say hi. Oh. Show them this. this which, which gear was fucked right up? Here. All right, guys. See how this right here pops out on this end and won't pop back into the other end? Because of the fucking... See all these like, little burrs. It's hard for us to show you because... This you is... see how it's catching right there? Yeah. See that, guys, how it's catching? Now, it won't allow us that to slide up and put it in the fourth gear. So that was our problem right there. That's the problem. So we got that figured out. We're using the one from the other trans. Down on third, won't go up on fourth. And now, when these go together, guys, you put these... See how he's putting the old ones together here? This kind of will even show you. Everything's got like little grooves in it. I mean, it's almost like. Hold on. See, there's little. There's three little slots in here, and then there's slots on this thing. And that's how you line up your synchronizers. Yep, that's exactly how you line them up, guys. See how that went right on there? See how we can't get it to go? See, that's why it won't go to fourth. We're gonna take this final drive out, guys. All right, we got that out. Getting tilted back down so that will. That's where we get this stuff out. We're just trying to clean everything up, guys. And this would be how, you, say, if you wanted to change your diff to uh, whatever LSD. Uh, say you wanted a Quiffy, or you wanted to. Don't buy one of those other ones. I'm not even gonna say their name because one of you idiots will buy one. But, uh, yeah, that's out. We'll show you the rest here when we start putting everything back together, guys. Yeah, now we got everything on there the way it's supposed to be. Now we're putting the diff back in there. And it just sits in there just like that, guys. Um, yet again, like I said, this is... This is the reason we was having their issues. This is called the shift. What is this? That's actually the shift selector. That's, That's where just the shift to selector, guys. This is where your forks. Your forks slide onto that. Those forks right here slide onto this, and that pulls it, pushes it, pulls it, pushes it, pulls it. All right, right here would be fourth gear, and down would be third gear. It goes like this. And see how this is stuck? Well, I don't want to go... It's only going, it don't even really want to go to third gear, guys. To be honest with you, that's how fucking stuck it is. <coughs> so, that was our issue right there. Um, I don't know what one of these would cost you if you didn't have another transmission sitting around. But, let me tell you one thing, it's cheaper than buying another one. Um, here's our synchronizers. I might even be able to show you guys kind of like on here. And you see these tabs right here? This right here, and you see this in something like that, and then so this is the that goes. That's the top. That's yours. That goes to the bottom. The race to the bottom. And which synchronizer? Yeah. See how he did this? And there's your synchronizer, guys. And when you take these out, guys, just take them out in sections. Fifth together, fourth fourth together and third together if you got to take them out now if you have a second gear issue you're fucked you gotta buy this whole shaft you know, them gears don't come out 
don't come out here. Now this, is this first? Um, no, this is first, this is second. Third, there you go. Fourth. Or reverse, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Okay, see that guys? But if you shave this off, you're screwed. Well, we didn't have that issue. We just had a uh, third to fourth issue. And that's what it was. Now, you could have been a dumbass and sit there and try to drive it like that. And then you're going to cause yourself major issues. So, hopefully this video helped you guys as best as possible. Just repeat everything backwards as we did. And if you don't like my video, just check out Honda Garage, guys. He did a pretty good job. I'll give him a shout out for that shit. All right, now guys, we gotta put the shifter, make, when you go to put this in, you gotta put it all together. And then basically, everything's like a little wrench and they'll kind of line up and you set it in there and you knock this case on, you kind of wiggle the hell out of it because we ain't gonna be able to show you because we need all four hands to do this. Kind of wiggle the hell out of it until you can see these exposed in these holes right here. And then you're gonna have to Persuade it to go down on there after you put your sealant on of course But you might want to try it before you do it because you may play with it for a little while so uh, We got to got to put this in here yet and and Don't forget to put this in your other part of your case before you Try to put it on and this has to be in neutral Make sure everything's in neutral before you try to put this case on then you got to take the case down a little bit, knock it a little bit, and then you got to play with your fucking snap ring, which is right in here. So we got to play with that to get it to come down over, I think it's this bearing. No, it's this bearing. No, it's this one. It's this bearing. So, and when you put your bearings in, make sure that all your Japanese is upwards. So we're here with the, I'm going to show you some gears here. There's first, second, there's third, there's fourth, which we didn't have. There's fifth, right? Yep. And there's our reverse. Who can't build a K-Series? Tranny. So we're here with the, I'm going to show you some gears here. There's first, second, there's third, there's fourth, which we didn't have. There's fifth, right? Yep. And there's our reverse. Who can't build a K-Series? Tranny. All right, guys, I showed you most of it. Um, I figured I'd show you most of it on here, but uh, this is something that I like to make a little bit of money off of from time to time. So uh, if anybody wants their... K series transmission rebuilt me and my brother will do it so uh just let us know you'd have to pay for the shipping here and pay for return shipping and plus you have to pay for your parts and our labor to do it but uh or we could get the parts and labor and everything included all together it's up to up to me i mean up to you guys i mean so if anybody out there is looking to get you know keeps tearing second gear out like this or anybody keeps shredding second gear like that well, you, you have to buy this whole shaft because it's connected. All right, guys, that whole shaft has to be bought if you're sh if that's shredded because that, I can't take that gear off. We cannot take that gear off. We can do everything else for you. We can put LSDs in for you, whatever you guys want. So, I mean, if anybody out there, if anybody out there wants their K-Series transmission built, Instead of going to an expensive ass shop and getting it done, we can do it. Um, we can put whatever you want in that damn trans, in that trans for you. Um, you just got to have cash, you know what I mean, guys? Uh, I mean, it'd be fine with me. You don't pick them up, I'll just sell your damn transmission. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, I'm just saying. <clears throat> serious, <clears throat> serious people only, you know what I mean, guys? But I, we can build them. We can build your K's. My brother really don't want to get into building B's, but we'll build your B's.